Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to break down the dispute letter tracker, what it's used for and how to use it. Let's begin. When you generate dispute letters, any dispute letter that you generate within the software will end up in the dispute letter tracker. This is where it'll keep a record of every letter that you generate. Now, in the dispute letter tracker, you have a few options. It lets you know the letter that you generated, where the creditor that it's going to, or a credit bureau it's going to. The mail date is a date in which you set. Okay, so let's say you download a dispute letter or you mail it out certified mail or fax it, then this it's on you to maintain the date in which you send it. And the reason why I have this here is because generally you want to keep a you want to keep record of when you sent out the dispute letter because generally the credit reporting agencies have 30 days to respond to request. Okay. And some have 15 days, so it's important to remember those days, okay? And then you have pending status. So whenever, after those 30 days or those 15 days, depending on the, the dispute letter that you mail out, you can, based on the results, you can set it so you keep record of, okay, I got this deleted, I got that deleted, okay? And then you have the date created. Let's you know the date in which you created the uh, dispute letter, all right? Now, on the dispute letter tracker, you have a couple records, a couple of options. All right, so let's say this is the upload documents and in here you can use it for multiple reasons so you can upload and add your return receipts let's say you created this letter and then what 10 days later it, it it was received by the creditor or the credit bureau and they returned it back returned your return mail receipt so you don't have to keep track of the physical copy you can just take a snapshot and upload it here and then you'll have record of it, okay? You also have the ability to preview your letters that you generate, and before you send them out, you can edit them if you like, okay? Now, this is this download dispute letter button. This is the one that allows you to download the dispute letter and gives you the opportunity to take it to the local post office so that you can mail it out and send it out by mail, okay? So you just click that button, that icon, and then it'll generate the dispute letter. Now it comes with instructions on how to send it. And you won't send this page. It clearly tells you not to send the first page. Then you have the dispute letter, which you will mail and print and mail. Okay. Now you have the option to also send certified mail from the software or mail. You can send first class mail, register mail, and certified mail plus return receipt. Okay. You can send one by just clicking this icon and you can select how you want to send it there's a couple options so i also have a video that goes in depth on how to mail out your dispute letters and that's the in the knowledge center okay so check that out and you also got the option to mail out multiple letters at once so you just go here say invoke certified mail and i know it says certified mail but you can send this first class mail as you can see and you have options okay there's that and then you also have the ability to fax the dispute letters by clicking this fax icon on the sidebar will pop up if you know the fax number go ahead and put it there you can create a cover sheet and everything all right watch the video on how to fax your dispute letters that's also in the knowledge center so check that out and then you can delete it if you let's say you don't want to use this one or you generated the dispute letter you made some mistakes you want to you can either edit it or you can delete it and recreate it all right so i hope this helps